you installed Visual Studio Code. If you go to Edit Preferences, you can select in External Tools, Visual Studio Code. If Visual Studio Code is not in this list, then you installed it poorly. If you know where the poorly installed Visual Studio Code exe file is, you can click Browse and pick it there. Otherwise, just select Visual Studio Code. Let me just show you that again. Visual Studio Code. Okay, don't leave yet. Go to General and enable Auto Refresh if you want the project to automatically refresh after you save changes in Visual Studio Code. Seems like this old behavior that was default has been changed to off by default. We can close preferences now. We can now right click, create C sharp script. Let's call it move. Let's double click it. It opens in Visual Studio Code. If I try to do anything in Visual Studio Code, however, for example, transform, nothing. It already suggests the C sharp extension is recommended for this file type. Yeah, let's just disable telemetry. Telemetry. Nope. Nope. Close. Restart. And now it doesn't inform us about C sharp anymore. Oh, there it is. Okay. So you can just press install here, or if it's disappeared, you can go to extensions and enter C sharp. Let's install C sharp. Okay, I don't know why it suggests me a color theme. What What is wrong with you? Come on, let's close it. And it's not working quite yet. But you don't need to install any Unity stuff. You don't need any of them. It's so confusing. There are so many options, but you don't need any of them. You only need C Sharp. Only C Sharp. Let's open a Visual Studio Code again. Okay, I can see it's still not loading. There is no IntelliSense working. So to solve this, we can just close this and then go to Assets and open C Sharp Project. Look at that. Downloading package OmniSharp for Windows. Let's wait for that. It's 40 megabytes. You can see it down here, downloading packages. You can see how much percent it's done. That's nice. It's installing more. Netcore debugger. If you say so. Razor language server. Why? This just feels like back using Linux again. Finished. Ah. Now it works. Transform. Okay, it's working now. Transform uh, position plus equals uh, vector free up times uh, point 0.1f. Let's try that. Control S. Unity automatically reloads. Let's create an object that actually can move. Let's move the script onto it and start. Oh, right, right, right. We actually want this to happen on update. And it's updating and it's moving. IntelliSense is working. All you have to do is wait after installing C Sharp. Now let's try this in a new project. I don't know why I saved that. New. Test. T -t 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 create. Let's create a new script. Call it test. Enter. Or double click. And it's not working. Transform. Oh, transform? No? Position? What's going on? These things with references, that they make me think that it, uh, the IntelliSense kicked in, but... Game? Oh, no, it doesn't work. It does not work. So it looks like we do have to go for Open C Sharp Project. Well... Transform... No? Transfer. No? Okay, let's close this first and then assets open C sharp project. Transfer. Okay, now maybe transform. Yes, now it works. <sighs> Why? 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 I'm really not sure. Let's create another new project and see if it really is all it takes. Assets, open C sharp project. Um, I guess new file. Test.cs. What? I guess I have to go to assets, new file, test.cs. Um, well, it doesn't fill with all the content, so I 
guess we're gonna create a new script file here. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna delete this. Create script test. And now, refresh here, assets test. Transform. 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 Game ob. It doesn't work. Closing Visual Studio Code, double clicking the file. Game object, game object, transform. No, oh my goodness. Closing Visual Studio Code, assets, open C sharp project. Please just work. Transform works. Why? I hate Visual Studio Code for this, but it looks like you have to open the script file once. Then you have to close Visual Studio Code. And then you have to go to Assets, Open C Sharp Project. Yet another new project. There might be an alternative. Let's create C Sharp Test 5. Let's double click the file. And now let's go to File, Open Folder. And here we're going to select Test 4. Not the Assets folder, but Test 4, the name of the whole Unity project. Select Folder. Doesn't... Does it work yet? It does not work yet. Let's refresh. Okay, okay, nothing yet. Let's close it, let's restart it. Mm, nothing yet. Let's control S to save. And transform, nothing yet. Let's close it. Let's go to Assets, Open C Sharp Project, Transform. Transform. Now it works. I wish I could make a shorter video. I hate what is going on. That kind of also explains why Visual Studio non code is the standard recommended tool. Just a reminder you don't need any of the Unity tools for this to work. You just need to, for some reason, tell Unity to freaking open C Sharp project. And now, with that knowledge, let's go and sleep forever. Ciao.